What if, in Roswell, in 1947, extraterrestrial beings crash-landed on planet Earth, and the government has known about it ever since? It, it beckons the, the idea, the thought that, you know, was there actually more to this first sight than has been told? This kind of information could cost your life. It's the story of three generations of the Marcel family who have handled this material with their own hands. It looked like it was kind of the same material as the foil parts, but if you held it at an angle, then these symbols would appear. What he saw and had in his kitchen that one night in July 1947 was evidence of extraterrestrial visitation. My grandfather at that point remarked that you guys are probably the first ones to ever see this alien language. He raised a family with the knowledge that we were not alone. It was rejected and basically scapegoated, put in the center of, uh, of a controversy which he would have loved to have talked to people about. It is said that within the Blue Room, the secrets of UFOs can be found. Just like any other top secret program, it was going to be kept, and kept very tight. Goldwood was trying to use a political angle to get the American military to reveal to him what the truth about Roswell was and what the secret of the Blue Room was. Knowing that they had a piece of technology that no one else had. I believe that there is still a piece of it out there. Blanchard had more than one piece. Did he keep some of it behind himself? Is that one way of him giving a piece back to my grandfather? Who else could he trust to bring over a piece of the debris that he shouldn't have had? We or somebody else will find a piece of it somewhere. The American government has since put so many more layers to this story simply because they know that at heart it is a very basic story and they want people to doubt it. 